Okay, so we got it in the underhook here, but this time I'm not able to do this here. I'm trying to go and he's not even moving. So what am I gonna do instead? My foot that is here in the outside is gonna come and hook here. At the same time that my foot goes to his heel, I'm taking this leg out. But needs to be in the same time that I'm pulling this to me. You see how I'm pulling this? I'm pulling his heel, I'm moving his body. So I'm like this, I come in his heel. I'm taking my leg out and pulling this to me. Look how my knee goes to the ground. My knee has to go to the ground. Then, same thing as we are, we are always doing, I'm gonna pull my knee towards me and put my hand on the ground. Look, I come here and put my hand on the ground. Most of the times my foot's gonna be trapped here and he's gonna be putting a lot of pressure on my knee here so I can take it out. Some people is quite, are flexible and will just take this out. But I don't recommend to, take the, uh, to do all this, uh, use all this flexibility. It's way easier if you have your hand on the ground and push him here. Look, he push, he's gonna move, he doesn't wanna fall. He's gonna move, your leg's gonna come out, right? Your leg comes out here and I have the underhook. What am I gonna do? My hand on the ground, I'm gonna do the same thing. Open my elbow here with all, my, with all the leverage so his head goes to the ground, right? And I come back as he's coming back and I'm gonna hug him very tight here. Same thing, I pull here and I hug. I cannot take him that way. So my foot comes here on his heel. As I'm pulling, I'm taking my leg out and put my knee on the ground. I have to hook his leg all the way, look, all the way here. When I come up, I can adjust this, you see? As I'm pushing him here, my leg comes out. Look, always tight here. I'm fighting with him here, right? What I'm gonna do? Open this all the way. So one motion, open, boom. I come here and I get his back. 